I'm Tom Murray. Here's what's making headlines today. Police say a 19-year-old man is dead. He was shot by a police officer in Madison. A family member identifies the man as Tony Robinson. Police officers began following him because he was jumping into traffic. They say Robinson assaulted an officer when confronted at an apartment just east of the Capitol Square. Once inside the home, uh, the subject uh, involved in this incident, the same one that had been allegedly out in traffic and had battered someone, this same subject then uh, assaulted my officer and uh, in the context of mutual combat in that sense, um, the officer did draw his uh, revolver and subsequently shot the subject. It is not clear at this point if Johnson was armed. More than 100 people gathered in the neighborhood where this happened overnight and eventually moved to Madison Police Headquarters. The State Department of Justice is now handling the investigation. Milwaukee police are investigating a homicide that happened near 35th and hour shortly before 1 a.m. Police say someone shot a 20-year-old woman during a house party. She died at the hospital. No word yet on suspects. Big closures tonight in the Zoo Interchange area. I-94 will be shut down in both directions from 10 p.m. until 10 a.m. And I-894 and U.S. 45 will be shut down at Greenfield from midnight until 6 a.m. A couple of long-term closures to report as well. The system ramp at I-94 West to get on to 894 U.S. 45 South will shut down until 2017. And the system ramp from 894 U.S. 45 North to get on to I-94 West is not expected to reopen until later this year. You can find all these closures plus recommended detours on our website, tmj4.com. Governor Walker is back in Iowa this weekend at an agricultural summit. Governor Walker has already set up a field office in Des Moines. He is the first potential presidential candidate to do so. Our Charles Benson is on the road with Governor Walker in Iowa. Charles will be in Iowa for live reports throughout the weekend. Well, we are finally making some headway on the temperatures, and today it's going to be a little bit warmer. And right now the current forecast has us with 40 degrees, and you know what? We actually haven't made it to 40 since January 24th when it was 42. So finally, we're turning the corner into spring. And boy, we have really paid the price over the past month or so. Hey, don't forget about this, of course, while you're sleeping. <laughs> I don't know. You know, overnight. Actually, don't forget to turn your clocks ahead one hour because daylight saving time, of course. So just remember. And that's going to actually help our sunset tomorrow night. Now, let's talk more about temperatures. 39 should be the average high, and today is going to be right around average. Probably should make it to around 40 degrees because look kind of off to our west. you got Fargo making it to 40, 39 in Minneapolis. That's the kind of air heading our way. Probably not a lot of snow in the Nebraska area. So when you don't have snow, it's real easy to warm things up. So as far as future forecast is concerned today, a couple clouds with this weak little system that's moving on through. Been watching a little bit of precip on the radar, but most of it not reaching the ground. So nothing you have to worry about this week. Cool front going to move on through. And as far as getting cold tonight, that's really not going to be the case. This whole system, again, is very weak. Another weak little system on the way for tomorrow. Going to bring us some clouds at times, but most of your day should be dry once again. And some clouds just kind of hanging on. And then as far as Monday is concerned, eventually we're going to start to clear things out. Here's kind of a closer look as we head through the day today. Again, very weak system moving on through. What you might notice are the breezes. Uh, not as windy as yesterday, but just a little bit breezy. Uh, that system moving on through. Again, most of us are going to stay completely dry. Just a couple clouds moving on through at times. And that's kind of the pattern we're going to see going into tomorrow as well. One system moves on out. The next one moves in. It brings us a couple clouds, but most of your day should be dry. Breezy? Yeah, a little bit, but temperatures... Uh, they're going to be pretty nice, and as we go into Monday, should be all right. Showing a bit of a stratus deck here, but we may be able to break that up and have even more sunshine for Monday, of course, which would help our temperatures. But do we need much help at this point? Well, not really. 40 degrees today, partly cloudy at times, going to keep it breezy. Again, most of the precip not reaching the ground. You might see a little verga falling out of the clouds for the most part. As far as tonight is concerned, 23 degrees, partly cloudy skies at times, not too much in the way of wind. And then as far as tomorrow, it looks like kind of like today, 40 degrees if we get enough sunshine or upper 30s, depending on where you live. So 
we are starting the milder stretch. It looks like Monday should have some sunshine, 42 degrees. Look at all week long. Every single day that we are going to have, we are going to be doing melting. And it looks like actually the warmest day of the week going to be Wednesday. And then a breeze off the lake for late in the week, actually cooling us down by the lake. I can't believe I'm even saying it, but it is that time of year.